Hello, my name is Marcy. I write the blog Battling Breast Cancer with Class. And when I look at how people find my blog, a lot of people Google getting financial, trying to get financial assistance while battling breast cancer or undergoing breast cancer treatment. If you've recently been diagnosed with breast cancer, you're probably concerned about how you're going to pay your bills. I know that I was. So my advice to you is when you find out your diagnosis, go to your human resources department and find out about their disability policy. You may or may not want to work. I myself did work. And I can tell you, I, for the most part, companies are going to be very compassionate about having you work while you're undergoing treatment. You may not want to work. That's why there's disability in workers' comp compensation. I have a colleague, when we both had breast cancer, she opted to uh, use her disability and I opted to work and my compensation wasn't the same because I earn commissions, um, but when we compared notes, basically we both made the same amount of money while we were undergoing treatment. So the first thing you want to do is decide if you want to try working. I did it. It worked out wonderful. Um, or you want to go on disability. The second thing that you would like you would want to do is you would want to um, research local organizations that assist people with cancer. There's a number of local organizations in my area. Think about all the um, organizations that raise money during Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October. Those funds are not all for breast cancer research. A lot of them is, are, a lot of those funds are earmarked to help people that are struggling while they're undergoing treatment. In this area, we have an organization called Swim Across the Sound um, that is right here in Bridgeport out of St. Vincent's Hospital. I was lucky I had enough money pretty much the first four months of my treatment and then towards the fall when I was undergoing radiation after my chemo, after my surgeries, I was running a little short. So I picked up the phone and called Swim Across the Sound and they said, mail us your, your uh, utility bills, mail us your gas bill, your electric bill, and, and uh, we'll pay for them. And that was just enough. Uh, it, there's a lot of organizations like that. The third thing that you want to do is you want to find yourself a breast cancer support group. That will not only help you cut to the chase and find out the organizations that help people in your area, but there's a, they offer you a lot of, of, of information beyond that as well, which I can talk about another time. There was a woman in my breast cancer support group at the Norma Freem Breast Cancer Center, which is where I had my chemo uh, and my doctors were based, and she really did her homework. She went right to the top. She went to the American Cancer Association at the national level, and that's where she found out where to go uh, to get financial assistance. And she she got she was very savvy. She got uh, one organization to pay for her mortgage. She got another organization to pay for her uh, groceries. She got Swim Across the Sound to pay for her utilities. She did not work. She was on disability. She even got an organization to pay for her to go on a weekend retreat. So. If you do your homework, you, you'd be surprised at the funds that you can get. But know that those funds are only available to you while you're undergoing breast cancer treatment. After you're done, you are no longer eligible for those funds. So time is of the essence. You want to get on the phone and find out who can help you as soon as possible to take advantage of these funds to help you get through this hump. I underwent 
chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation. I was in treatment from May of 2008 to November 2008. May, June, July, August, September, October. Seven months, seven, eight months. So uh, those seven, eight months go by like that. But you want to have, you want to be able to take advantage of all the support you can get because it's hard enough just to get out of bed and face the world when you're undergoing treatment. So you, you, you deserve that help. Believe me, take it. Um, so let me just recap by saying, go to your human resources department, find out if you, you know, if you can work while you're undergoing treatment, maybe you can't. I had the option of either doing that or going on disability and find out how that works. Get the paperwork signed, filled out and signed as soon as possible. Um, do your home, go find out where the local organizations are that can help you and give you some financial assistance. There's plenty of them. And the local, at the local level is more streamlined. I know you could probably go to the American Cancer Association. I do have a blog with a list of some some organizations it's a it's not a uh, comprehensive list but there are a few resources I think I have three or four and then the third thing is you want to find yourself a breast cancer support group because on so many levels that will help you get through that eight months of treatment trust me your family and friends can only do so much um, you have to be around people that are going through what you're going through and it'll make it so much easier Trust me. So that's all I have to say for today. And um, I'll get back to you and have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. Take care.